I'm Jeff Aubin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm a coach who helps people and organizations be more effective. It starts off with job search. It progresses to helping uh, managers hire better, lead, manage more effectively, overall be more effective in the workplace. Spotted a great post on HubSpot.com in their blog talking about management styles that are effective and not effective. It's called four management styles to strive for and four to avoid. And I thought it, it was very much worthwhile uh, to share. So the first one that is one to aspire to is the visionary style, which they describe as a visionary manager communicates a purpose and direction that his or her employees believe in, which convinces their team to work hard to execute the vision. Isn't that great? After setting the team's vision and overarching strategy, visionary managers usually let their employees get to work on their own terms as long as they're productive. Not complicated. Number two, democratic management. Majority rules. Managers let their employees participate in the decision-making process because they value their team's diversity of ideas and understand that people are the key to a team's success. So again, majority rules. Transformational managers. These are innovators. They usually believe change and growth is the only way to stay ahead of the curve, so they push their employees past the comfort zone, making them realize they're more capable than they originally thought, thus helping them raise the bar, lead to, uh, this motivates employees to keep raising the bar and leading to improved team performance. The fourth one to aspire to is the coaching one. Just like a sports coach, a coaching manager strives to improve their employees' long-term professional development. They have a passion for teaching and watching their employees grow. And they're, will they're more willing to deal with the employees' short-term failures as long as they learn and get better because of them. Now, there's more detail to, that, to these sections so far. I'm just trying to give you an idea. The four to avoid, autocratic. Autocratic management is the most top-down approach to management. Employees at the top of the hierarchy hold all the power, make decisions without collaboration, or informing their subordinates. And after they tell them what to do, they expect immediate acceptance and execution with no questions asked. A lot of fun to work for an autocrat, isn't it? This one's tricky uh, because I think most of us have been raised to believe that servant management is wonderful. However, they consider it something worth not aspiring to. Servant managers put people first and tasks second. And I can see where this can be a problem, of course, if that's the behavior that shows up. They prioritize their employees' well-being over the team's results so they can foster a harmonious relationship with their employees and keep them as happy as possible. They do everything they can to support and encourage their team, and in return, they expect their employees to be motivated to work hard. Third type, laissez-faire. They monitor their team's activities, but they're completely hands-off. They expect their team to perform up to certain levels, even though they don't proactively help or check in with their employees. Employees led by laissez-faire managers hold all the decision-making authority, working on whatever they want with minimal to no supervision, which is the advantage for them. They can also seek their manager's guidance when they need help. But most of the time, the team barely has any guidance or vision, which is the problem there. Number four, transactional managers use incentives and rewards like bonuses and stock options to motivate employees to carry out commands. Their motto is, if you do it for me, I'll do this for you. But motivation doesn't really work. It wears off in the long term and even diminishes your employee's intrinsic motivation to succeed at work. So I just thought I would share this with you. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you'd like more, visit my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. There's a lot more there that you can watch, listen to, or read that'll help you find work more quickly. In addition, in addition, if you're interested in one-on-one coaching because you want to improve your performance or that of your team, 
there's a button on the home page where you can schedule a free discovery call with me. You know, I'd love to, to talk with you and see what I can do to help. Lastly, if you're watching on YouTube, there's a small icon in the lower right. Click on that, subscribe to my channel. You'll find uh, that you're notified whenever I release new content. Have a great day and take care.